So 45 days ago, I started selling credit card readers and point of sale systems to businesses. And I actually found a donut place and this donut place is starting a food truck. Okay. And this donut place is claiming that they sell about $30,000 worth of donuts every single month to their customers. And that's a lot of donuts, but these guys need a new credit card reader. So we hopped on the phone with them and they explained that they're starting a food truck and they need a point of sale system, something with a big screen for their uh, cooks and for the cashiers. And then on the other side, they actually need a customer facing display. So we, we offered them a machine that we have, it's called the E700. Um, and this is a free terminal that the processing company can actually get the business owners. So all we have to do is just submit the application like we typically would. And there's a little box on the very bottom of the application. All you have to do is just check off the E700 option. But instead of the business owner paying a flat rate fee of $50 per month, their uh, increase is actually $75 per month. But that covers the software fees and that covers the SIM card because this is a completely wireless device. Uh, it's similar to how your phone works. You know, your phone has a SIM card. So the credit card reader also has a SIM card and it's completely wireless. So it's perfect for a food truck. And I think they're gonna love that system and they're gonna stick with me for five years, 10 years, possibly even 15 years down the road. And just to give you a breakdown of what I'm expecting as profit per month from this donut business is they're doing $30,000 per month. So if you take 1% of that, that would be my cut. So at the end of the month, my cut is gonna be somewhere close to $300 per month. And my commission can either be higher than $300 or it can be a little bit lower than $300. It all just depends on what the interchange rates are. So if the interchange rates are high, my commission is gonna be a little smaller. So say 250 per month. And in the banking world and the credit card processing world, you can think of interchange rate as like an expense. So the higher the interchange rate is, the bigger your expenses, meaning your profit is gonna be lower and then vice versa. But regardless, I am expecting to make about $300 per month just from this one business alone. So imagine if you had 10 of those businesses and they're each pumping out $300 per month, that's $3,000 that you're gonna collect every single month because you did the work one time you set them up with a credit card reader and now they're going to process transactions through that credit card reader and you're going to make about one percent of their total sales volume so 10 years down the road you could still be making that three thousand dollars per month because you did the work one time if you guys want to start selling credit card readers and you need the contracts you need the rebuttals the objections you want all that stuff Go ahead and click on the link down in the description below because I created a brand new free ebook. I just created this ebook and it lays out the entire blueprint of how to actually start selling credit card readers and how to get deals, sign contracts and make some money, man. So click on that link down in the description below and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.